Hi, everybody. I'm James Sabolski. Well, it's been anything but home sweet home on this homestand, but they'll try to finish up with some pride and pick up a W. Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. The Leafs start with possession as we are now underway. Jumps it into the Ozone. Colorado's got it from behind the net. McKinnon's got the puck through the neutral zone. Cutting to the front of the net. Oh, and he just got enough of that one to keep it out. Sliding across into Butterfly covers most of the bottom of the net. There's nowhere for the puck to go. The Avs have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Sends it in deep. Angles it over to Johns. Toronto's got it against the boards. Nice pass. Oh, and he makes the save. Just got enough to keep it out. Across the line along the left wall. Colorado's got the puck against the half wall. The Leafs scoop it up along the boards. Slides it diagonally to Taves. Handles the pass. Oh, great glove save. Where'd that come from? Fires it into the offensive zone. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck along the wall. Tries to get it over to McCarr. Centering feed. Can't connect the play. Quick feed to Taves. Back at the point, they set it up. And there's the save. And now it's over to Bergeron. The Leafs play along the boards. The Avs have it against the wall. Taves lugs the puck through the neutral zone. Shot! Too much congestion in front. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. The Leafs have it now. Here they come up along the wing. Takes a shot! And that one's turned away. Frank Cruz makes an excellent stop there. Look, they're off to a good start. Their team has uh, got a terrific record on the year, large part because of the save percentage that he's already compiled. Crisps on top of that one for a whistle. A little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. Still lots of time left in the period. Still looking for our first goal. Let's go Let's go the Leafs win the draw. Fowler's got it across the line. Colorado's got it in their own zone. The Avs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here's a shot. Shuts him down. Crisp's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. The Leafs win it in the defensive zone. into the offensive zone. Tries to feed it over to Thornton. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Lekanen's picking up steam. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Here's a short pass to O'Connor. Battle along the boards. Gives it right back. Colorado's got the puck in the defensive end. The Avs played along the win. Quick pass across to Klingberg. Toronto's crossed the line and on the attack. The Avs gain possession in their own end. Colorado's got the puck along the boards. And now it's grabbed by Bleed. Crisp's gonna hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James, he needed a cover there. Here in the back half of this period, the game is still scoreless. Colorado's won the draw. Slides it back to the blue line. The Leafs look to start the transition game. Bunting's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Comfer's got it along the boards. Can't make the connection on the pass. Moves it around along the half wall. 
And now he moves it quickly to Manson. Back to the point it goes. Quick pass to Bleed. Scooped up along the wall by Helm. Grabs control of it at the point. And he takes a shot. And a textbook pad save there. They are really feeling it now here in the Ozone. Toronto's on the attack. And he regains control of the puck. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. And now he angles it across to Kerfoot. Pushes it across to Rodriguez. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Kerfoot. And he was ready for that one. Scrum ensues along the boards. Passes up ahead from the left wing. The Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. Takes it into the slot. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Frank Kuz is going to wait for a breather as he swallows up the puck. Well, now everybody can get themselves back to their square one position. I mean, it was starting to look a little ragged in the defensive zone. It's a good play by the goaltender. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Moves it to Matthews. Here's a shot. Blocked in front. Colorado's got a hold of the puck. The Avs carried along the wall. The Leafs have it from their own end. Latang's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Takes that pass back at the point. Moves it quickly over to Johns. Play is blown dead with the offside. Here in the late goings of the period, still no score in this one. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. The Leafs gain possession along the wall. They put the puck into the offensive end. The Avs will play the puck from behind the net. Grabbed along the board by McCarr. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. Can't make it work. Puck scooped up by Kessel. There's the whistle. We got an offside. The centermen glide into position. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Lekanen. Slick feed. Puck picked up by Carlson. And he slides it quickly to Riley. Handles the bank pass from along the boards. And he hangs on just as time runs out. All right, time to get a clean sheet of ice here as period number one comes to an end. As you heard the horn sound, we'll be back with much, much more as this is going to be a fun one. A clean sheet of ice beckons, and period number two set to get underway. Both teams still feeling each other out as we are scoreless here to start the second. Let's see what the officials are calling. The Avalanche have been called for tripping on the play. unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Well, hard work earns the first power play of the game for them, and now they've got to take advantage of it. They'll start with the face-off, of course, in the offensive zone. The Leafs scoop it up along the boards. Nice feed. Marner's going to play it against the half wall. Colorado's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. The Leafs have it behind the net. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Toronto's playing it through center. Quick feed 
to Riley. And that slides right out to center ice. Toronto's working the transition through the middle of the ice. Players tell us all the time that they don't know where the next milestone is. That's garbage. They know when they're one goal away from a plateau. I think he's looking for it here. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Taken by Zegras. Wow! What a stop by Francis. And he takes the pass. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Here's a chance. Oh, he had the answer on that one. Toronto's got possession of the puck. Through pass ahead. From the point, they take control of it. On the backhand! Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Here's a short pass to Johns. Bang! And there it is! In the back of the net for the power play tally! The Leafs' hard work finally pays off with a one-goal lead in a second. That was a lot of effort just to get to the lead. Now you want to stay aggressive so you don't give it back. McKinnon's won it. Quick pass to Rantanen. He grabs the puck here at the point. Sits it to the middle. And that's stopped. And it's a quick pass to Gerard. From the back of the cage with the puck. Stopped by the goaltender. They are really dialed in here tonight. On the outside to McKinnon. Another feed. He picks it up. They are under pressure here. They pull in the back of the net and we're tied. They've worked hard for this goal. They get the chance. They finally put it away. And now everything, as you mentioned, is all level. The Avs are on the board. They have tied things up here in the second. They've worked hard to get this game back to level. The Leafs win it. Puck grabbed by Fowler. Poked away at center by Rodriguez. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. Fails to find the open man. Taken along the wall by Gerard. The Avs play the puck from the back of the net. Crisp's gonna cover up the puck here for a whistle. He makes a safe play and kills the play before any other damage can be done. James Sabalski, Ray Ferrara with you here in the early going of this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. The Avs will go to work here in the offensive zone. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Riley. Toronto's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Oh, that's a piece of it with the ball. Frank Coos is on top of the puck, stopping the play. Looks like he's seen enough. The potential to start running around in your zone causes him to cover the puck up. Nearing the midway mark of the period, we got a tie game. The Leafs win it. Handles the puck at the point. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Colorado's moving it along the wing. The Leafs have it against the wall. And that's poked away. Toronto's across the blue line. Puts it on net, makes the save. Frank Coos is gonna slow things down and get a whistle. It's a good choice for him. It looked like the team had started to become unraveled. Centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. Toronto's won the draw and they'll go to work. Moves it to Riley. Can't get a hold of that pass. Takes it behind the net. Moves it quickly over to Marner. Back to the blue line. The Avs take over on possession. And now he tries to get it across to Rantanen. For point blank! How did he stop that one? Yeah, he's right in front of the puck too, so there's really nowhere that puck's gonna squeak through. Rontanen's tape-to-tape -tape zone ability means he can complete those firm, crisp passes that help keep the play moving. He's so effective at distributing the puck and setting up his teammates. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Drives it to the crease! Oh, and it's just wide of the net and they'll play on! 
He's going to shake his head when he sees this because he's, he's in as good a scoring spot as you're going to get to all night. And he just misses the net. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. And he takes the feed. Quick feed to Taves. Dishes it to Plenty. Toronto's got it along the wall. Sends it in on the attack. Oh, and they couldn't connect on the play. Here's a short pass to Kerfoot. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Latang's got the goal scorer's back, and that's if the net never moves. Some guys lose where the net is when they fall and they can't get the puck on the net. He does not fail here and gets a decent chance. Point to point pass. Denies him! Into the butterfly, slides across to make the save. Now you get a chance to control the pace of the game. It's tough to do it in a tie game. Now you've got the lead. Colorado's jumped out to a one-goal lead here in the second. Breaking the tie was critical. Now you can play in front and try and dictate the pace of the game. Jumps the puck in. Up along the wing. From the left side, takes it to center. Directed over to Taves. The Avs have it now. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. And he takes the dish. Colorado's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Picked up along the wall by Helm. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Comfort. Quick pass to Kessel. Takes a shot, and he comes up with it. And now he moves it to Kessel. Slivering feed! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Colorado's looking to break out. The Avs take it across the blue line. Sends the pass in front. And that goes off a body and a ride. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. And he takes the feed. The Avalanche have the puck in the neutral zone. And now it's grabbed by Byram. Colorado's got it along the wall. Fires it! With dynamite on that stick! Wow! Colorado's looking to cruise into the intermission with a two-goal cushion. Well, they're feeling a lot better than they were 30 seconds ago. This is a nice spot for them to be in. Moves it to Rantanen. Colorado's got the puck against the boards. Denied by the goaltender. Takes the feet at the back end. Takes the pass. Picked up along the boards by Byron. Feeds it to McKinnon. Moves it quickly over to Rantanen. Shot! Close save! How did he get a piece of that? From the left side, moves it up ahead. Sends the feet in front! A blast! Moves the puck from off the bank pass. The Leafs gain the zone. Takes the feed. And there's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. You don't want to go home yet, do you? Third period action still to come. Welcome back to EA Sports, the final frame of this one. Here we go, third period is officially underway. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? The Leafs have been frenetic all game long. Like, they don't have the puck. They don't keep it. Everything is a little bit scrambly for them so far. They can hold on to it a bit here in the third. Maybe it can get into the game. Oh, he got hit by a freight train there. What a collision. Scores! And there it is! 20 goals make you feel like you've had a pretty consistent season. That's a good number for him to achieve. The Leafs are back at center ice, probably breathing a little easier now, Ray. They needed to get one, James. If you trail by two for too long, the clock just runs out on you. You run out of time. 
McKinnon's won the draw. Poked away in the neutral zone by Matthews. From the open ice, they gain the line. Great reach with the poke check. Slides the puck over. Poked away at center by Rantanen. Scooped up along the wall by Johns. Look at this down the right wing, they're on the attack. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. His reflexes on display tonight. That flat out reaction, James. That puck is coming at the goaltender from the loose slot. There's not much time to think. Position, reflexes, same. Thornton's been on fire lately. His point streak starting to stretch out. This is when you feel like you'll score any game. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Toronto's still down a goal here, but they have really picked up the tempo these last few minutes. Denies them with the pad. Battling for it along the boards. Toronto's in transition. Gets the puck in deep. The Avs gain possession. Quick feed to Rodriguez. Into the offensive zone. From off the wall and onto a stick. They've got numbers here. And he was ready for that save. Frank Cruz has the puck, and he'll wait for the faceoff. I think that's a pretty heady play. There's been a little bit of scramble around him, and he jumps on it. They can get reorganized. See if we can pick up some momentum again here as a faceoff is ready to go. And they continue to apply pressure here. Here's a short pass to Nijuskin. Along the half wall with the puck. The Leafs gain control of it. And he passes it up ahead to Voracek. The Avs are in transition. The Leafs have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Handles the puck. Quick pass to Bergeron. Frank Cruz gobbles up the puck and he'll wait for the whistle. Oh, now you got a chance to get organized again. The freezing is a good safe play. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. 3-2 is where we sit. It's a one-goal game in what has been a very fun contest to this point. The Avs will play it in their own end. O'Connor's got the puck. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. O'Connor's called for tripping. He's off to the box. Matthews wants to give his team a good look on this power play, guys. One way he can do that is by using his zone ability and hopefully create a scoring chance. The Leafs take possession off the faceoff. And it rings the post! The Leafs have been clawing and trying to get themselves back into the hockey game here. This shot hits the pipe and won't go in for them. Slides it up front. And a little body contact on that play. Good clearing attempt to breathe. The Leafs have it behind the cage. Now a quick pass to Voracek. The Leafs take it along the wall. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save by Francis. Comfort's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Bergeron's won the draw here in the offensive zone. And that goes off of body. And he makes the save. Grabbed along the board by Johns. Who's the puck? Pass save. Oh, he got all of that one. They are swarming around like bees here in the O-zone. Misses the net. And the defense come away with it here. Receives the pass. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Oh, the player's frustrated there. You can see going to the penalty box, knowing they're down a goal, this is not helping at all.
This is an impressive and actually graceful goalie. He knows how to slide well down to make the save. That mobility is his butterfly effect zone ability. The Leafs win the draw. Carlson's got it in the defensive end. From center, they get into the attacking area. Moves it to Bergeron. Makar's the victim of a slash, and the official caught that. We got a penalty coming up. Let's see the call here. It's a step back for them now. They're shorthanded, but the penalty killers can do a job, and they can maybe gain that momentum back. The Avs with a four on three, and they've got lots of time to work with here. This is where you have guys with high IQ on the ice on the four on three power play. You've got a pretty lengthy one, so find the right spot, not the first spot, for your best opportunity. Tane slides into the face off dot, and they'll continue to try to kill off this penalty. They win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Too much traffic in the lane. Puck clear from the defensive end. Taken by Klingberg. Here we go. Puck's in deep. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck along the wall. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Moves it quickly over to Landeskog. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Puck scooped up by McCarr. Chase ready for Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop. Once he drops into that butterfly, he's pretty confident. He's got most of the net covered. He slides across to make the save. The Leafs get a hold of the puck under man. Going with a stop. Crisp's going to hang on just let things settle down for a moment. He really didn't have many options to play the puck, but no. in a close game, you want to be sure every time you do. Camps recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Taken along the wall by Rodriguez. Knocked away. Let's it go! Denies him with the pad. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Colorado's got the puck along the boards. The Avs have it from the corner. Toronto's got control of the puck. Sends it out in front. What a finish on the play. Colorado's latest goal now gives them a two-goal lead here with just minutes remaining in this third. It's a good place to be as you get into the last half of the period where you want to melt these minutes away by playing aggressively. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. And some nice footwork to free the puck up to his teammate. Right through, center it into the offensive zone. The Avs gain control of the puck. Moves it to Nichuskin. Bergeron's up at the box. Toronto's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. And the PK unit gets their man out of the box. Well, if they were going to stay in the game, they had to kill that off. You cannot lose touch with the score here. From right out of midair, he bats it down. Moves it over to Carlson. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Bergeron's got it in the offensive zone. McKinnon's got the puck along the wing. And now it's over to Rantanen. Oh, a clutch save! Stays with it. Shot! Oh, turns it aside once again! The Leafs will play it from the defensive zone. Quick feed to Rantanen. Sends a pass over. Oh, he's trying to be perfect with that shot, and he just misses wide. My word, they really got them hemmed in here in their own zone. Crisp's going to bounce on it, and he'll take the whistle. He's usually a pretty conservative goaltender anyway, and so the opportunity to kill the play, he's going to take it. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Avs have some breathing room as they lead by a pair. It's 4-2.
Thornton's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. Great defensive effort with the stick. Toronto's moving it up the ice. Sends the pass over. Toronto's got the puck. Gets the puck over to Voracek. Here's a short pass to Bergeron. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Funny, James, when you try something a little bit too much, you know halfway through it's not working anyway. Scores! That's back to back, Ray. Well, the, the game has changed. Those two goals here really have changed the outlook. The Avalanche have been flying tonight, and it continues here in period number three. Really been a tremendous game for them. I, I've been really impressed with them tonight. Battle along the wall. Quick pass to Bergeron. Across the line, down the left wall. And puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. And now he angles it across to Bergeron. Puck picked up by Taves. Straight up the middle, here they come. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Here's a chance, and he makes the save, and that has some hot sauce on that one. Takes a shot, too many bodies in the way. The Leafs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Oh, what a save by Francis. Check in with her own Carlin Bain. Who had the better night in that head-to-head -head matchup with the Stars? John's wanted to have a strong game, and he came out here and delivered. I think he's been the standout player in this one, guys. Moves it to Gerard. And now he moves it quickly to bleed. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Dumps it in. Gostas Bears lugging the puck. The Leafs take it across the line. Shot, and that's blocked from someone in front. And that's broken up. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Johns. And it's kicked away. Less than 60 seconds to play in this blowout. Moves it quickly over to Matthews. On the attack along the boards. Cut grab by Helm. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. And they'll dump it in. Gostas Bears stick handling in his own zone. Pats it out of midair. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. And we'll get a reset after the puck goes up and out of play. Teams are lined up and we are ready to take this draw. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. And now it's grabbed by Latang. And that goes, he scores! James, I'm really impressed with They just gave up a goal. Now they turn it around, go back down the ice, and they equalize the one they just gave up. Sorry.